so I'm back with another tutorial. Um, I'm really trying to get it going with these tutorials, okay? Because I know that y'all been getting on my head uh, that you want more tutorials and stuff. So, um, here's a new one because I just picked up this really pretty new eyeshadow. And this is the one, it is from L'Oreal. And it's one of their 24 um, infallible um, eyeshadows. And this one's an Amber Rush. If you are lighter than me, this kind of won't really show up on you. So just FYI, because um, I tried it on a friend of mine who was kind of lighter than me, like maybe like three shades lighter, and it didn't really quite show up on her. So if you guys are lighter, try something more on the copper side, um, a little bit darker than this, just to kind of show up on you. Since I'm really, really tan, this shows up on me really well, and it's on my lid right now. So, I don't know, for me it shows up, but if you're a little bit lighter than me, I'm not sure if this tutorial is going to work for you. Um, or just adjust the shades so that it's a little bit darker so it does show up. Or you can wear it wet. Um, that's my next suggestion, because if you wear it wet, it becomes more intense. So try that too. Um, but either way, it's the tutorial is circled, circled around this eyeshadow. And then I use the Baked Not Fried um, Baked Palette from Wet n Wild. I love this palette. Um... I think this is probably my favorite out of the three that came out. Um, these are limited edition, so if you guys don't have it, I apologize, but just use similar colors, you'll be fine. I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial, and I'll talk to you in a bit. So, as always, I plined my eye with Painter the Paint Pot. Okay, all over your lid. Um, use whatever primer you want, obviously. And then I'm going to take um, this L'Oreal Infallible, or Infallible um, Eyeshadow in Amber Rush. And it's like a really, really gorgeous, soft, I personally don't think it's amber, um, but it's like a soft copper, like a soft champagne copper shade, in my opinion. And then I'm just going to take a soft, a soft shader brush, a flat shader brush. If you really want to intensify the color, I would wear it um, wet, but it's just really not necessary, so it's totally up to you. Um, whatever it is, just go ahead and apply it to your lid. This eyeshadow is kind of different because it's like, it's like loose but not. It's like loose but it's like pressed in. So that's the only reason why I suggest to wear it wet, but it's totally up to you. <clears throat> and excuse my voice, I think I'm getting sick. I'm just going to put it all the way in and then maybe like three quarters of the way out. I'm going to leave a space right there. And I'm not going to go any higher than the lid. I'm just going to kind of blend the edges a little. Um, I took a fluffy crease brush, and then I'm going to take um, Buck ooh, Buck from the Naked Palette, which just looks like that. Um, you can use MAC Soft Brown if you want to, just like a matte soft brown. <laughs> and then I'm going to pop this in um, like just right above my crease, so it's like a nice transition color. And it just kind of creates some depth. And then I'm going to take a MAC 217, or like a fluffy dome brush. And then this is the Wet n Wild palette. I think this is the one in Baked, not Fried. I don't remember, but it's their Baked Eyeshadows. And I'm going to take this, um, this to me is like more of an amber copper color. Um, so I'm going to take this amber copper color. It's in the top row on the right. And I'm going to apply this to the outer, um, the outer quarter of my lid and then just blend it like halfway through, okay? Then I'm going to take um, another 217. This one is newer so it's a little bit flatter. So if you guys want to use like an angled brush like this to do this part or like a pencil brush, totally up to you. It depends on the contour of your eyes. Um, I'm going to take the darkest color, which is the bottom to the right, and I'm going to pack that onto just the tip of um, the brush because we're going to create this really deep outer V contour, okay? So again, it depends on your eye. Sorry, this eyeshadow has hella fallout. Um, it depends on the contour of your eye, what type of brush you can use, but this one just works best for me because it helps me create this line. See that? So it's kind of like a mild cut crease, but it's just on your outer corner. So it's just going to be only right here. Don't go any further than the outer part of your eye, okay? And then just to create a little bit of shadowing in the outer corner, I'm just going to use like baby circular motions on the outer edge so that it kind of blends it and it's not too harsh, and then just drag it in. Mm -hmm. 
And then I'm going to take a small detail brush, just like that, with the same dark color. And I'm just going to kind of smudge that on my lower lash line a little. I'm not going, um, I'm going like three quarters of the way in, like about up until right here. And then I'm just going to connect it with the outer V. And then for highlight, I'm going to use this um, champagne goldish color, like a soft champagne color, also in the Baked Nut Fried palette with a flat shader brush. You can use a matte highlight if you want to, but I, I don't know, for some reason I just felt like shimmer today. And I know that looks crazy, so um, duh, make sure you blend it, because <laughs> otherwise it's going to look so crazy. There we go. See? Much better. Well, I curl my lashes before applying liner, but do whatever you want, of course. Um, just go ahead and line your top lash line. I, of course, like to always wing mine out. Um, and today I'm using my L'Oreal Linear, Liner, whatever you want to call it. Liner. Some people say Linear, some people say Liner, whatever. Um, I'm just using my liquid liner today. I don't know, I haven't used this in a while, so I just felt like playing with it. And then creating my wing. Wing liner is obviously optional. I would say it depends on your eye shape. But I just wanted a much cleaner line today. And then on my lower lash line, I'm going to do a combination of two different liners. So I'm going to use this Urban Decay Liner Pencil, pencil in Whiskey. And then I'm also going to use the... Um, 24-7 liner in Lucky. So I'm just going to mix them. One's kind of like a copper color. And then I'm going to put that mostly like on the inner part right here. Okay. And then I'm going to use the brown in my water line. Just because I didn't want it to be too harsh and use black. I kind of wanted to soften it a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to blend a little bit downward with that copper. So that it's not just like a straight copper like underneath my eye, it's kind of like a brownish copper. It's like a it's like a really small pop of color. And for mascara, I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Aqua Smoky Lash. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and do my face and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is a finished look. Um so for my face, I just use my MAC Pro Longwear um foundation and um that's it, yeah. So I just used this. I didn't use any concealer, except for under my eyes. Under my eyes, I use uh, my Boing Concealer, and I'm in shade number three. Shade number three. And then for any of you guys asking, I'm NC42 with the MAC Pro Longwear. I'm always NC42 um, in every, almost every MAC foundation. It never really changes. Um, so yeah, just these two on my face, and then I bronzed it up with my Hoola. And then for my cheeks, I used um, Max Melba, which is this beautiful peach shade right here. It's like a matte peach. And then, oh, for my lips, I just used these two babies. Um, this is one of my favorite lipsticks from MAC. This is Brave New Bronze, and it's from the Style Warriors collection. It's just a really gorgeous, gorgeous nude shade. It's very similar to Cherish, um, so if you guys want something in the permanent collection, I would try Cherish. Um, and then I just put Get Rich Quick. Um, Dazzle Glass on top. I don't know if you guys can really... It's hella tiny. Get Rich Quick. And it's like a really pretty like amber bronzish, bronze, bronzish type of shade. So it kind of warms up the lipstick a little bit. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!